the entire underwriting process is so significant. And from my experience, I watch people, you know, try to figure out what the cap rate is and what the going cap rate in the neighborhood is and is it changing and can I be a part of that change so I can lower my cap rate, especially when people are buying in like the low C's or, or D's right. and they think they're going to go into a war zone that's already selling at a 13 cap, right? The neighborhood's at a 13 cap and you want to go in and recondition this property and position into a place where, where you can get a, a six or a seven cap. That's just not going to happen. Not in that neighborhood. <laughs> I mean, have you run into that at all in your wiles as you're looking at your deals, right? First of all, you know, what, not geographic area, but you know, A, B, C, D, where do you look at purchasing? Because I know you like to do value add options, right? So what is your goal? You know, what asset class are you looking at and what is your goal for that? Yeah, so historically, we've looked at sort of the C to C minus class asset, but hopefully in a C or a B minus area. And because we're value add investors, we're not afraid of, you know, dilapidated properties or problem tenants. It's sort of our goal to come in to inject our own human capital and try to create the appreciation that way. Mm -hmm. uh, moving forward, though, especially in 2023, because there's so many unknown factors, and because the market has changed away from a seller's market, we're actually looking to go up a level in both asset class and area mm. because the assumption is that there's going to be more deals available and they're not going to be asking for top of the market prices. I mean, uh, if anyone was active last year, the market was crazy. Like we had to make offers that were 10, 20 percent above asking. Mm -hmm. We had to offer a hundred grand, a hard EMD day one, which means that that's just a deposit that we're never going to get back. And we're trying to close in 30, 45 days. And so it, it was rough. It was rough because it's going to swing back in our favor. Ideally, that should give us a little bit more leverage to, you know, chase after the deals that may might have been too expensive a year ago, but today might be fairly priced. So how does that play out when you know that today rents are high, right? Rents are high. And uh, that obviously rolls right over into the valuation process. You know, that's how sellers are valuing the real estate. When that doesn't quite gel with the increased interest rates, even though like we were talking about agency debt came down a little bit, but everybody's not getting agency debt either. <laughs> no, no, there are some deals that, you know, if you're trying to take them on and they're like heavy value, like maybe like half of them are empty, agency lenders just won't give you the money to right. buy that anyway. So you're going to have to, you know, come up with creative solutions or go with the local bank or take on bridge debt. But uh, yeah, there's a, a lot of moving pieces. And last year, for example, was a weird world where every seller was claiming that you can have 200, $300 rent premiums. They were running their properties at, you know, 30% expense ratios. Mm. And that gave you a really big inflated income number that was leading to all these, you know, sellers asking for the, the moon when they were trying to, to offload their properties. And so even today, like as we're making offers in today's market, you know, we're still kind of have to, you know, a lot of sellers are still holding off on trying to get the top of the market rents, but we're able to be a little bit more, you know, favorable to us and that we don't have to put hard EMD down. We don't have to promise to close within 30 days. So mm -hmm. we, I already see the change in the markets coming. I think it's just a matter of Maybe within a few months, more sellers will realize that they can't ask for, you know, $150,000 a unit in a crappy area and see if they have more realistic expectations. I'm giving you everything you need to find success as a real estate investor. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel and like this video. See you later.